hello there. I'm just going to quickly show you how to reduce the DPI resolution of images in, in files. So we've got this PDF, which is an editable Illustrator PDF, which is exactly what we need. It's fine. This is how I want to have the files, as an editable PDF, because that way, obviously, other people can see the PDF when they need to, but I have full editability as well, so I don't need to keep exporting PDFs, etc., etc. So anyway, um, let's have a look. This file is currently 94.5 megabytes, which is quite a lot. Uh, for quite a small file. So well, I think um, there could be a couple of reasons for that and I think the main culprit might be this image here. You can see up here uh, the pixels per inch is 2345 by 2300 or 2236 so we can reduce that somewhat I think. Um, first thing we need to do is unembed it and I'll just save that to the desktop and that'll give us a PSD here on the desktop. So, if I open this in Photoshop, I can see that the resolution is 4,252 pixels, and it's currently 800 dpi in this one. And just kind of ignore the dpi in Photoshop, because um, it's just it's just pixel resolution, um, but it, it kind of converts it to Illustrator, because you can see it's 2,345 in Illustrator. So, um, if we measure this across, we can see that the image is only 40 millimeters I think um, actually for, as we're doing DPI let's just measure it in inches okay now let's have a look uh, so yeah 1.6 inches so we have a image of 4252 pixels wide for something that's only 1.6 inches across which is quite a lot so ideally if 300 dpi is 1.6 inches um, so you know we, we could get away with like 600 pixels so let me just and that's 600 pixels is actually more than 300 dpi anyway but let me just reduce the file size to 600 i'll save that and uh, some files are missing or modified yes i would like to update them thank you you can see here now that the image is exactly the same as it was but it should be far less you see it's here it's 331 PPI. So I'll embed that and save it down. Let's see what's that done to our file size. So now we have a file size of 4.9 megabytes, which I think is acceptable. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and um, yes, I shall speak to you soon. Good day.